Something I forgot to mention to y'all yesterday, something else this car has a problem with is, uh, see how that bank is leaning a little bit? That one's a little, maybe you can't see it. But under that pump, I got a block of wood because it holds it up and keeps it from, you know, going like this. And I, it's not, the mounts aren't broke off. Uh, because it's really hard to bend back up straight. But something bad happened to it. And, uh, so I'll, I'll find that out when I cut it off and get the body off. Also, I went out here today and the hydraulics were flat dead again. So I got a bad battery in here somewhere. And, uh, it, it doesn't matter which one. I got a battery tester. I think it's a Matco, I don't know. It, you know, it doesn't matter because they're getting replaced anyway. Look at that. Party. So yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There's that, man, that intake manifold is fucked. I could JB weld it, but I, I ain't doing shit that way. I'll just get another one. Alright, I got the batteries out. Just wanted to show you all this. It is a street charger. For those of you who have never seen one, street charger. Uh, it's got a power wire going to the battery and it provides a trickle charge for all the batteries in the trunk. It, it works good. Uh, I've only had to charge my batteries a couple times a year. You know, because I drive my car a lot, and it keeps them pretty well topped off. And, uh, it's the last time you've seen one of these guys. Good old Kicker ZR240. I've had this guy for a while. Yep. It still works. I don't know if I'll have room to put all that shit back in when I'm done, but we'll see. I got all the shit out of the trunk batteries pumps I got it up in the air now and what I'm gonna do is those are my rear cylinders I'm gonna pull these rear cylinders out you don't necessarily have to pull the the cylinders if you're just taking the body off but I, I gotta roll this thing in and out of here a couple times to get the lifting pads off and you know stuff like that and I won't be able to roll it out of here fully pancaked because that, that ain't much spring. This thing sits pretty low. So what I got is I got this, these springs on my shelf of, of shit out of uh, Cadillac Fleetwood. Maybe like an 89-ish. And uh, I'm going to try to jam them back up in there. And uh, I, I don't care if it fits like shit as long as it holds up the car, you know what I mean? It'll work temporarily. Well, they're in. They, uh, they fit all right. It's getting into that arm a little bit, but I don't really give a shit. What I had to do to get them in was I took the drive shaft out and I put it back on already and end link and the shocks are already off because they break off if you can't see it here's what's left of the shock they just they always fucking break off so i quit putting them on uh let me show you how i deal with four drive shafts i seen this on somebody's youtube channel i don't remember who but it's made by steelman it's half inch on this end but only three eighths on that end and if you know Fords you know it's a 12.12 .12 millimeter and these are all you know flex head and shit they come in three different lengths and I use them with my Milwaukee impact and I haven't broke one yet shit phone call hold on well they work they hold up the back of the car all right 
Let me show you what I got going on in the trunk now. I got everything out except for these racks. I got to get these racks out. And if you look, that's some pretty, pretty thick steel. And it's going to suck to cut with uh, a Sawzall. One to get in there. And it, it's just going to suck. And I don't want to use any kind of uh, cut off wheel or torches because of the carpet. And uh, now it's got a bunch of oil in it. Oh, it's, it's, it's always had a bunch of oil in it. Every lowrider has oil in the fucking trunk. So I don't know. I'm going to have to figure something out for that. Uh, I'm about done for the day. I'll figure something out tomorrow. Peace.